Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how I put on makeup every time I put the mask on and how I make sure that my makeup is smudge proof and doesn't transfer on my mask. So if you want to see how I do this look and if you want to look cute while wearing a mask, then just keep watching. <music> Okay, so let's just set our hair aside. So for skincare, I suggest you skip your heavy creams and just use a lightweight moisturizer or even a serum. Personally, I like using the Cosrx Snail Essence or this Myzon All-in-One Snail Repair Cream, but any lightweight moisturizer will do. So next, I'm gonna use a primer because I want my makeup to last long. And personally, I love the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It's never let me down. It really helps my makeup stay in place the entire day. Okay, so for base makeup, I'm gonna be skipping foundation today because we want our makeup to be as light as possible so it doesn't transfer on your mask. So with this, I'm only gonna be using concealer. Make sure your concealer is full coverage, long wearing, and matte so there's less chances of it transferring to your mask. So these are great full coverage and long wearing concealers that I use. So I have the Tarte Shape Tape, the L'Oreal Infallible, which is a dupe of the Tarte one, and the NARS one, which I used in my last video. So I'm gonna use this today also. For blush, I'm going to be using two products, a cream blush and a powder blush and layer them on top of each other so my blush lasts longer. And I also love putting blush on my nose but today I'm going to skip that because this is where the mask goes and it's likely going to transfer if you put blush there. Next, I set my face with powder so the makeup doesn't move. And for this, you'd want to use a translucent powder or an invisible powder instead of a powder with coverage or a tinted one. By the way, the powders that I usually use are the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder or the Fenty Beauty Universal Invisimat Powder. Another good tip that I want to share with you guys is instead of using a brush, you can use a damp sponge and then dip it into your translucent powder or whatever powder you have. Tap off the excess and then just press it onto your skin. So when you use a brush, the powder is usually just on top of your skin, but when you use a sponge and press the powder onto your skin, the powder gets absorbed more and there's less chances of it transferring to the mask. If there's any leftover powder on your skin, you can always just brush it away using the brush. Next is, I like to add a little bronzer because I'm a bronzer girl, but I Try not to put too much on my cheeks and just focus on my forehead and my temples. Today, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. So I did my brows off camera. There's nothing special about it. Sorry guys, I didn't show you. Anyway, so next, I really want to focus on my eyes since I'm wearing a mask and my eyes are the only things you can see. And with that, I'm gonna use the same bronzer that I used earlier and just put in a little effort into my eyes today. So I'm just gonna get an eyeshadow brush and put on some eyeshadow. I'm 
I'm also gonna put a little on my lower lash line. And then I'm also gonna use a dark brown eyeshadow and do a baby wing. Then I'm just gonna curl my lashes and then apply some mascara. So now we're done with mascara. I just wanna make my eyes look bigger and brighter. So I'm gonna put on this nude eyeliner on my lower lash line. I'm also gonna highlight my inner corners. Okay, the trickiest part, lipstick. So you want to put on lip balm first to keep your lips moisturized. And then for lips, I suggest you use your liquid lipsticks, especially the transfer proof ones. Like I have one from Maybelline. You can also use lip tints. So I have the Peri Peri one. It's very long lasting. And if you want to use other lipsticks, I have a tip for you guys. I'm not really a fan of liquid lipsticks anymore. Like the, the very matte liquid lipsticks. So I'm not going to use that today. I'm going to use my Sunny's Face Lip Dip in the shade Posh. And I'm going to show you guys how I can make this transfer proof. So what you guys do is get a piece of tissue paper and just blot your lips. Like that. Get some loose powder. And then use it to set your lips. Transfer proof! So last step, I lock everything in and use a setting spray. I use the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's my favorite. And just spritz it all over your face. So this is the final look guys. I hope you learned a lot from the tips that I gave today. If you also have tips, please leave them in the comments down below. And you can also give me ideas on what videos to post next. A quick reminder to always wear your mask when you're outside, not only to protect yourself but also the people around you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me a lot. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!